Likely you're familiar with the idea of photoshopped images, really images that have been uh, edited or altered in some kind of way. What you might not know is that you can do the same kind of altering in real time to any web page. And the way you do that, well, take a look here. Let's take this uh, example here. Me no more eat cookies, carrots, broccoli, and tomatoes for me only now, right? Oh. That's shocking. What is he? I mean, he's getting older. He's 50 years old. Is this, is this a new thing? Nope. This is fake news. If I refresh, you'll see it goes away. And actually he's cookie monster still in the cookie game, but you're able to do that edit really easily. And I'm going to show you how in three steps. So first step is highlighting any text on a web page, and then right clicking and cl choosing inspect here. Once you choose inspect, this box is going to show up and I know this looks a little scary, but really all this is, is some basic HTML here on the left and CSS on the right. And what you can do is just kind of hunt for that text and really edit anything in real time. And you just want to click off it like that. And I can just close this like this. And there you have it. So now we have this page here. This could really easily be a screenshot uh, or in a, in a video. And oftentimes you'll see people will make fake news by just altering web pages and then tweeting it out. And there's a lot of different examples of things that get retweeted and people believe it. And the important thing here is that, well, first off, I hope that by seeing how easy this is, you know, we can be a little more discerning in the future when we see things like this to think to maybe just question it more, you know, is it real? Maybe looking for the real source because when you refresh, it does go back, right? Uh, you're not actually editing the data in the database. All you're editing is the local copy. That means on your computer temporarily. There's a lot of cases when this can be useful. So for example, right here, I am showing you my bank account and sometimes you need to show your bank account either in a screencast or you want to make a, a snapshot like this, uh, or somebody wants to see how much money you have in your bank account. Cause I don't know, you're getting a mortgage or something like that. Um, but whatever it is, you can also edit this page. In this case, I edited out my account number because I'm making a screencast and I didn't want you to see my account number. So, you know, quite simply, I was able to just do that same trick. Um, uh, you know, apparently I'm not as ashamed that I only have $1 in my bank account, but we can change that. If you just click here, you click inspect, go into the code a little bit, find that dollar. And all of a sudden I really, uh, just made you a millionaire basically is what I'm saying. Uh, of course we'd have to update it here for this to logically make sense, but yeah, now, now I'm basically uh, a millionaire. So Oh, my million dollars. I got my million dollars. You can make your mom proud by editing your name into the front page of the New York Times. Aw. Hey, mom, check this out. Know that it's pretty easy to give yourself more likes on Instagram. And this can even be used for dismantling these kind of uh, pesky little paywall things. If you are to inspect on this, if you highlight over it, you can find exactly where it is just click delete to remove it. And in order to be able to scroll, you'll need to find where the overflow hidden important is and remove that. It's usually on the body class. With that said, please don't do this to wired.com. They are awesome. One of the few places doing real journalism and uh, I'd recommend you subscribe if you like what you see there. But this is a really good trick that you can use on, let's say LinkedIn when those annoying pop-ups come that, you know, don't let you see people's pages without being logged in, you know, when you're trying to like go in incognito mode and, sneak around and see somebody's stuff without them knowing you saw them, uh, you know, that kind of thing, or on some new site where there's just like a million pop-ups and it's just annoying as hell. It's an easy way to kind of get by that stuff. Oh my God. Well, why does this tool even exist? Web developers use it all the time. They use it when they launch a site or a new page, new features to test on the front end here, or to look under the hood and make sure all the data is coming in correctly. Web designers and maybe you or different people on your team could use it to communicate complex design ideas. So for example, let's say that you are thinking of making five or six changes around, you know, this page here. Sure. You can write an email. You can make a big list, make this thing here, make this color, this, um, you know, these emails are annoying, right? It's like hard to explain and write and even read these things, but with visuals and, and really, you know, really easy kind of a few steps. Oh, did you, I wanted to make reserve your spot and roll now like that. You know, I wanted to change this color. I wanted to make this one month's learn Python, not just Python. I can make all of those changes and then 
take a screenshot, for example, and send it to somebody. And that makes it really easy. You know, it also gives me instant feedback. Uh, if I look at that and I'm like, oh, that's so boring. I want to, yeah, right. All right, I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of the Web Developer Toolkit. Um, this is best used in Google Chrome, in the Chrome browser. It's also in other browsers, but it's a little bit more difficult to use. And um, if you know a little bit of HTML and CSS, you really can take this to the next level. There's a lot more that you can kind of do in here, manipulate, um, adding colors and images and all that kind of stuff, adding your own HTML instead of just editing it. Um, and so it's a really powerful tool. And you know whether you're a developer or not, it's really just good to know it's there. It's basically the new photoshopped of uh, of this century, I suppose. Uh, you know, are things photoshopped? Well, now you could edit the web in real time. So it's good to know it's there. All right. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. If you make something uh, and edit it, I would love to see an image or a snapshot of what you're doing down there. You can share it with us uh, here on YouTube in the comments or tweet it at us here at onemonth.edu.